Good morning, folks. We're starting today by watching plasma filaments on the northern hemisphere of the sun. This short sequence shows how unstable they can be and just how much movement is possible in short periods. Then we're going to another set north of the Earth-sized legend here. This phalanx is comprised of solar tornadoes and is heading out of view. Stepping back out to coronagraphs, we begin to see Mercury coming in for conjunction in just three days. It'll heliocentrically oppose Jupiter just two days after that. And yet, as we come to spaceweathernews.com, we find a lack of activity, just not a lack of potential. So the filaments and big sunspot group turning away have remained stable and not produced any solar flares. Despite the size of the departing group to the right, we had strong development of the trailing sunspots in the last 24 hours. It now has beta gamma classification for sure, with delta potential as the polarities are set to meet in the middle. We're going to watch that growth over the last 24 hours here. Really went from something of note to something to watch. We're going to be putting eyes on the solar wind next. Things are calm and the stream resembles ambient quiet conditions with Earth's magnetic shield getting a nice breather following days of geomagnetic storms earlier in the week. The top story today comes from Tony Phillips and Earth to Sky Calculus, where their cosmic ray experiments are top-notch. Here they show how latitude can make a big difference when it comes to radiation dose from cosmic rays, especially the higher you get in the atmosphere. The poles are always going to get more than the equatorial region. You can read it at spaceweather.com. Next, we're coming to some daylight meteor sighting footage out of North Carolina. This one was reported dozens of times along the southeastern states and... Another one occurred in Cyprus where it was the dead of night there. This is the only footage that appears to be out at this time from that event. Let's go to the tropics because twin storms will help set another locational quake alert. Philippines and nearby areas are very seismically responsive to earth spot storms. That'll be in a couple days. Remember the only other location we're watching right now is the west coast of South America. But keeping with the storms, let's go to the Atlantic where one system is expected to develop but then expected to swing north into open waters and become less of a story. Here's some tornado footage from last night in the Midwest. Weather got rough and we'll do it again tonight. We had a very different, deeper look post yesterday. We've got a couple more on deck, but today is Saturday, so your Fly on the Wall podcast is coming in just a few hours. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.